Okie dokie, and we are back to Saturday, my time. I have no idea what time it's going to be for you guys. Um, probably a Sunday for you, but um, let's see. So, first things first, see if this quest is still bugged, which I really hope it's not, because I really want to progress with that now. Um, oh. See, it's like, I wouldn't say early in the morning, but it's like a lot earlier than you'd think people to be on. Oh. It seems to be a thing with like, random lag spikes, very, very occasionally. So, sorry about that. Although, we've seen it crash quite heavily before, so... been over here. It's the only quest I have at the moment, so it's not like I can really do anything else. Let's go hiking, try and find something else. But I'd like to think because there's less people on. Yeah, there he is. Thank God. My Sifra, I'm glad you came by. Have you seen any other Marines along the beach? Sergeant Ferion sent me to find you. She's alive. I suppose that's some luck amidst all this wreckage. Can't say the same for my leg. If I don't put too much weight on it, I can manage a good hobble. Sergeant Ferion said this torch bug treacle would help. Glow juice? By the gods, it just might. Soon as I can stand on my own, I'll head inland. I need to find the rest of the squad. Blessings upon you, stranger. I'll limp my way inland and find a safer place to wait for Sergeant Ferion. Just knowing she's out there gives me hope for the rest. Awesome. So now there's just one more. Um, I thought I'd gathered Torch Bog Tree cool enough times, but I guess I need one for each. Should be the last one in that case. I always have to check the map, because I'm always having second doubt as well where I'm heading, even though it isn't the compass above, but I've seen it bug out enough times. <laughs> it's led me to places I'd never wanted to be. Awesome. See, as I was saying, there's loads of people online, even though it's like morning. Who are you? Were you part of the fleet? Sergeant Virion sent me to find you. Alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Cracked a few ribs. Not the best feeling. Sergeant Ferian said this torch bug treacle would help. Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. <laughs> but if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. I found everyone in your squad. Lieutenant Gellin pulled me ashore. Went to find shelter. Never came back. Headed to a nearby cave. Find him. Tell him we're all safe. Okay, so it looks like there is still one more person to find who's in a cave. All the way over there. So if he went to find help but never came back, that means something bad probably happened. I mean, why would you go and look for help in a cave in the first place? This is the first question. Unless it's like some mad witch doctor in there. I can't tell if it's sunset or sunrise. It'd be nice to see the game at night. Though, like I said, I have no idea how the time works in this game. As of yet. Awesome. No loot though. I need more armor. I realize I've been running around in just <laughs> iron pants the whole time. I don't actually have anything, do I? No. So this don't look good. Tied to a bloodstained post, it's a bloody 
is the body of a wood elf marine. He appears to have died recently. Examine the corpse. The armor bears the insignia of an Aldermary Dominion Marine Lieutenant. His corpse is soaked in blood as if many shallow as it from many shallow cuts. Greenish foam mingles from the smeared blood. Lovely. The cut on the lieutenant's body forms strange but repetitive patterns. His blood was smeared across the uncut portions of skin to create wave like symbols. The exact cause of his death is unclear. So that's pretty, pretty messed up. Um, I guess we should break the news to fear in. Um, is that her? Yeah, she is. Well, the rest of the crew is alive, at least. Turns out my squad were the ones who found me. Ever consider a career as a Dominion Marine? You'd make quite a scout. My squad said you were looking for Lieutenant Gellin. Have you found him? Um, about that. I found his body in the cave. Someone killed him. What do you mean? It looked like he was killed in some kind of ritual. First, a hurricane blows out of nowhere and destroys our fleet. Then, an able-bodied Dominion Marine is captured and tortured to death. What else was in that cave? Lots of bones, candles, and snakes. Also, wooden posts. Some kind of sacrifice? This is too big for my squad to handle. We need reinforcements. Nistel spotted a beach ship nearby. It looks intact. And she spotted Dominion sailors aboard. What are you going to do? We need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad and I need to pull his body out of that damn cave. Would you warn the sailors on that beach ship? They need to know it's not safe to wander around. I'll warn them. Wait. Take this. I found some glow juice while I was looking for my squad. But they're on the mend. You'll get used to the taste. We'll be along shortly. Watch yourself. Okie dokie. I'm just going to turn... I don't know if I can turn the audio of the sound up again. Uh, dialogue volume. Because I, I don't know if I'm right in saying this, but I think that the dialogue's a little bit quiet so now we'll see if it's too loud I'd rather it be a bit too loud than a bit too quiet you know also did I get I might bind that so this kind of works as like a kind of hotkey thing where you can quickly assign like that to um, Q, although I can't actually see it. No. Oh, I have to enter them in combat, but yeah. So that's quite quite handy. There we are. You want a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbaged mouth castaway? State your business with the crew of the Prowler. A Dominion Marine was killed in a nearby cave. The hurricane killed hundreds of marines. Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? He was murdered in some kind of ritual. His squad needs reinforcements. Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in the wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your marines can prove they're more than two-legged cargo and shiny armor. If they pitch in, I'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? I'm sure they'll help where they can. And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. I'll see if they can find the helmsman's wheel and patch the ship. Oh, and our sun sighter. Must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink-fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the sun sighter back. Anywhere you can. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Um, what's to do with a fair bit then? These aren't Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. Quartermaster Alban promised reinforcements when the prowler is repaired. Who we'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do? But, but Bernie's a replacement house as well. is the best scrounger in the regiment. If you want, I can send him out to look for a helmsman's wheel. Now... I think I can send each crew member off to do it. 
which saves me time. But I don't know whether I should do it myself or... Um, I'll it's send everyone way. off. Anything you tell us is good. She'll have her slip. On Glorna. I almost pity the sea viper. But it's time for that mangy privateer to make good on his promise. Maybe you should do the talking. I'll just rub it in. So yeah, sorry I'm being a bit lazy, but I want to kind of get more to the main story. Sorry guys if you want to see that. That was fast. Alright. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends. As long as they work for their meals. You promised reinforcements. I said I'd consider it. Captain Jimmler is the only one who can make that call. Then what does your captain say? Something you'll want to hear. You just made the prowler seaworthy. And Captain Jimmler always pays her debts. Go talk to her. She only bites if you give her good reason. Lovely then. Okay, so... Yeah, that's just a lot of time actually. I did do one on my sorcerer. I had to run miles just to get an item. Due to your efforts, the Prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those marines did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, and I know how to stop it. What do you mean? Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. What happened to your crew? Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals so we might repair the prowler. We thought they disappeared, but one just returned and she tells a harrowing tale. What happened to her? The sea vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing and I fear they're the cause of it. Mustang we recovers below. Hear what she has to say for yourself. Okie dokie, so it seems that the sea vipers are being douchebags yet again. And we gotta go and stop them, but first we need to confront someone who managed to escape from them. You should be in here? Oh hey. Well, the sea vipers are she? insane! They're trying to create another hurricane! Another hurricane? What do you mean? Sir Verkvild and I were scavenging for a replacement helmsman's wheel when the Sea Vipers ambushed us. They brought us to the island with the beached Dominion flagship. They'd done things there. Terrible things. What have the Sea Vipers done? Those filthy Malmur dragged my mates up and tied them to these serpent-shaped statues. Then they started chanting and lightning surrounded them. That's when the storm began to form around the island. The sea Vipers created the storm? Yes. I'm sure of it. It was a terrible sight. The sea vipers were so caught up in the ritual, I slipped free. I tried to grab Sir, but the lightning held him fast. Then one of the sea vipers yanked at him. I saw the Maurmur's wrist glow. Why would the sea viper's wrist glow? The Maurmur wore lodestones on their wrists. It let them ignore those lightning bombs, but I couldn't find any more. So I jumped off the ship and swam for it. Please, don't let them sacrifice my crewmates. Okay, so... Um, so we've got to release them? I don't... How are we going to do this one, guys? Take lodestones from sea vipers. So I guess I've just got to kill a couple? Um, that looks like where I have to go. A giant sort of hurricane tornado thing. Looks slightly conspicuous. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that looks like a sky shard if I've ever seen one. Oh yes. Sweet. A bit wet and windy and thundering here. So we've got to find someone to kill, I think. There's bound to be someone up here, right? I thought that was a person, but I'm mistaken. Is there anyone up here? 
Because that's the guy I need to rescue. I have got a load stone, so. Uh, is there anyone down here? Aha! Well, there's a couple. Oh, I think I'm lagging, guys. Ha! <laughs> That's a bit awkward, isn't it? So, you have nice eyes. I think. Okay, no. I take that back. Oh! <laughs> okay. Ah, awesome lodestone. Right, now let's rescue these guys. Very, very atmospherical. Those sea vipers are insane! Yes, they are. That was awesome! I kind of preferred it when it was here though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Vegas can't be choosers, let's get home. Or oh, when I say home, I mean... Back to that ship. Is there anything I can pillage? No. Okay. Dad. <sighs> this is nice summer's there. Oh, I really want to throw a javelin at you. <laughs> there was no reason for killing him apart from um he looked mean. Hopefully now we can actually progress to the main quest. There's some really cool bits I want you to um I want to show you guys. Sur and Workfield returned just after the skies cleared up. They're a bit damp, but otherwise all right. My lookout says I have you to thank. Yeah, I stopped the ritual and freed your crewmen. Yes I did. Apparently I can't tell her that. Let's do the good old reload UI thing. Oh, now I can't even talk to her, can I? Hmm, this is much more good. Okay. Sooner and work, then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. Oh, your marine friends fended off sea vipers while you rescued my crew. They're welcome aboard, as long as they want. Perhaps we'll see you at Mistral. You'll always have a place on the prowler. Awesome, and I've leveled up. Um, now I'm not really bothered about using a one-handed and a shield, because I normally hate shields, so... First of all, let's give me some more health. Commit them points. I still can't level up any of this stuff, which is annoying. That looks quite cool. What's this? Hmm. Slap, bat, Adric Spear. Um, let's take this, because why not? Another hill. This one. Um, sorry, I'm not going to group with you, mate. So, I need to go to Mistral, which is all the way over there. 